Yeah. If you were talking about the spiritual layer, yeah. First, you said that the spiritual layer is can bring transformation, but now you, afterwards you said it needs to be healed. Hmm. How? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Because to <laughs> to meet, yeah. So uh, uh, maybe you can speak louder, or I repeat it. Yeah, I, I asked about uh, how to heal the spiritual layer. Layer, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because um, in a first period of time. When, when, when I say that in our body, we have the personal unconscious and we have the collective unconscious. And we have, uh, well, for the personal unconscious, for everything regarding relationships and so, relationships with other, with myself and so on, it is not too difficult to understand. But on the spiritual level, we also have to nourish and to encounter what is in, our, in the spiritual level. And to nourish the spiritual level, what most of the culture has found to do that is through rituals, through prayer, through... Why, during, during a first period of time in the evolution of humanity, for, first of all, there was no really religion because when it was mainly the reptilian brain that was developed. And the reptilian brain is in connection with the whole galaxy. So we were in a unity. And the first, the first um, culture, well, mainly matriarchal. Do we say that? Do you understand? Matriarchal. Okay. They were in connection with the nature, the, in connection with the stars, okay. with a free circulation of sexuality and sexual energy. Then, little by little, 4,000 years ago, something like that, I will not he explain here all the evolution and why it changed, but the system changed little by little through a patriarchal system. And from that time on, it was important because the, 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 previously there were little community, little by little the community were bigger, the, the starts fighting from one community to another. In the beginning, it was mainly agriculture. Then after that, you need to increase your property because if there are more and more people, you need more place. And if you need more place, then you will need to, to, to um, patriarchal has created the, uh, the ownership, okay? Before that, there was no ownership. <laughs> it was the earth. It belongs to any beings, okay? And from that time on, it was decided if there is, if there is a ownership, it also means that I have to know who will honor it. If today I'm the owner, the, way I will, the day I will die, who will honor it? So I need to know who, will, who is my child, because I want to give it to my child when I, I will die. Okay, if I need to know who is my child, it's no longer <laughs> okay that in the community to have a natural, circulation of the sexual energy. I need to know that this is my wife. This means this is my belly, <laughs> the belly of my child. And this is my child with my name. And this is the one who will be the owner. How to do that? Well, you have to forbidden anything connected to life and to sexuality. You have to, little by little, create rules and do it so that people are forbidden to let the free expression of their energy. As people are disconnected from their reptilian brain and from 
the source of life and the source of wisdom, I need to give them something else to find it. I will create religion from that. Before that, there was, there, there was no religion, okay? The re religion was the whole nature, okay? Then re the religion appears. And previously, mm, the river is a, was a goddess. The fire was a god. When re religion appears, mm -mm, no. There are not so many gods, there is one. And you have to believe in the one I will tell you. And this one is a god that is also there to, <laughs> to forbid and to create restriction. You will do this and you will not do this. So little by little, they are religion in order to continue to nourish the spiritual part, but it nourish it creating the dissociation between the human being and the spiritual part. So how to, to recreate the connection? Finding a ritual where in that ritual you will give a symbol because the person, the human being, are no longer in contact with totality. And as they can no longer reach totality, then you will give them a symbol. And from that symbol, they can project on that symbol in order for them, with this projection, trying to reach God. Okay. So, all the cultures create rituals with a lot of symbols. Okay. It can be a candle, it can be a, I don't know, flower, things like here. It can be someone coming behind the altar and speaking in the name of God and so on, and so on, and so on. But at least, as you are no longer connected to this, at least you can connect to the symbol. And this is, this is where religions are. Okay. So with psychocorporal uh, proposal, you can also do it recreating ritual, having the possibility for people to to be in contact, be, be, because Jung or Campbell, they have also uh, explained and demonstrated that if the human being does not receive a ritual or a symbol to nourish the spiritual part, it will also create neurosis. So if an instinct has been denied, it will create a, per, uh, a perversion. Okay, so if sexual energy is denied, it will create perversion. If an instinct has been um, repressed, it will create neurosis. If the spiritual part is not nourished, it will create neurosis. Okay, but the spiritual part that was given to us was no longer this connection with totality, it was a connection with a symbol, with a religion. So, in terms of transformation, is okay. Most of the time, it's like when I explain the child. The, the, the child, the baby comes, it's a potential of all, of his, of all the power of his essence, of his light, of his instinct. So, we are in connection with this, but we have to learn to control it and we will continue our life in a certain role, with a certain form. Religion and symbols are those forms. And human being, because he has lost the connection of this, because in the meantime he has developed a cortex, and he has lost the connection with his reptilian brain, he needs a form. But the whole thing is not to stop the evolution to the form. Understand that this form is just a step to totality. And while doing uh, your own transformation path, you will also meet all the emotion, because in the beginning, this it's just projection. <laughs> there's, there's nothing spiritual at all. It's just a projection that you are giving. For example, uh, I was, 
a little girl that was admiring my father. Okay. And uh, finally, my father, uh, hmm, he was not such a genius. I had problem with him. And finally, I have a lot of anger with my father. I will do exactly the same with religion. I will admire God because the utmost father, <laughs> the utmost image of father is God. Because in my religion, they told me that God is a man, that he's there in the sky and is deciding for me what is good or not. I will have the same projection on God, the projection that I have on my father. I will have the same anger against God because it's the same that I have on my father, because it's the same that I have on the rules, for example. Okay? So the first period of time is just projection, and there is energy in projection. So people will confuse projection in real light. So it means they will have to release also the emotion against God. Okay? Only when, while doing this, this is why it's always the same principle. It's coming back here, encounter what is here inside in terms of sensation, in terms of emotion, release it, discharge it, knowing that when you will do that, you are on the opposite side. You are no longer there. Not yet. You will, you will have to repair all this. So you need to repair all this in order no longer to meet this, but to meet this, the totality. And once you are doing this, you realize that it's not outside of you. Because as long as you are searching it outside, it's the same than trying to reach totality with a partner. It will never happen. Because to reach this, it is not further in this direction, it is further in this direction. And there, when I will do this path, what will I mean? What, what will I meet here in this path? It is inside. I will meet my body. And what is, my, what is in my body, my personal unconscious, my collective unconscious, sensation, emotion, I will have to go through it. And deepen and deepen and deep, deeper and deeper and deeper. And then I will feel totality. And from this totality is connected to this one, but it is deeper here. And once this is done, I no longer need symbols. I can respect symbol because I can feel the reason why they are there and, and I, I can really have a deep respect for it, but I'm no longer attached to it. I'm no longer attached to the ritual because rituals were there only to create the link, but when the link is created there, my whole life is a ritual. <laughs> it's a, I no longer have to put it in a form outside of me, because it's here inside. Okay. Does it answer the question? It, it was not easy to answer this question a few, <laughs> in a few seconds. Yeah, <laughs>